putting a dollar in for good luck first. Add a teaspoon. It's slow. I'm gonna interview some customers. So it's pretty dead tonight. This is a random customer. He's with a bachelor party. Um, He's from Boston. Tell him how the night's going. It's going great for my buddy in there. I don't even, honestly, I don't even like going to strip clubs that much. But That's you know what? what they all say. No. Lo and behold, here you are. I'm here for a bachelor party, am yeah, I not? Yeah, it's not that I don't want to be here because I met this beautiful girl when I first walked in. But you know what? This, it's just not, it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't do anything for me. Do you like spaghetti? So the night is over, but I'm still waiting to get checked out. So it was pretty slow tonight except um, two bachelorette parties started fighting in the parking lot. You just heard screaming and you heard bitch and then there was pushing. And other than that, it was a pretty normal night though. Pretty slow, it felt like a Monday. Mike, are you able to check me out? Can you check me out? I can see you. Really? Oh, I'm gonna go home. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Sunny, are you ready for a Friday night here? So apparently tonight we have a wet t-shirt contest. We got the water guns for the wet t-shirt. This is my manager. He looks like he's going to Miami to sell cocaine tonight. Yeah. All right, do you consider to be on film? Okay, yes. We're doing customer interviews right now. So how was your night tonight? I went to the other side. I, I had a good time there. I had a good time on the other side. <laughs> you gotta play both sides. It's all about equality nowadays. <laughs> Another night at the Larry Flint's Hustler Club. Probably gonna get fired for being late again. So today is a glorious day. They have given us whistles because when we tell these drunk dudes to settle down, get off the dick, stop running in the club without paying the cover charge, sometimes they don't listen. It's genius because when our DJ did it one night, when no one was listening to us, he whistled and all the people were like dogs. Their ears like perked up and listened. So now we got our own whistles. All right, so the ass and titty jars are back in the car. Tonight was slow and then it got crazy busy. Like line out the door for hours, really busy. Good money night. But I felt so bad for Sunny, our other door girl, because some low life took her tip jar. When she turned around, she was helping a different customer. Someone took her jar. Who the fuck comes to the strip club and steal someone's tip jar. Like imagine being that person. Like, that's fucking embarrassing. Well, I'm very tired and we will do another episode soon.